I recently received the Denon AVR X4800H 9.2 channel AVR along with a pair of Definitive Technology DM70 floor standing speakers and a DM20 center channel. Today I'll take you step by step on how to get this system set up as well as look at the new Denon menu system. Let's head into the living room and get everything connected. So here you can see it's going to be a pretty simple setup. We've got our left speaker cable with banana plugs, center channel speaker with banana plugs. Over here is going to be our right speaker with banana plugs, our power cable, and then we've got two HDMI cables. The left HDMI cable is going to be used connected to our Apple TV 4K. That'll be our main source. Then this HDMI cable is connected to the ARC and eARC input on the TV. We'll be using that to connect as our output on the receiver. And that'll also be used to get sound from our TV into the AVR and then out to our three speakers. Now, because this is only a 3.0 system, that means we only have three speakers and no subwoofer and no surround or Atmos channels. Now, we won't be using a dedicated subwoofer because the Definitive Towers have a built-in 10-inch subwoofer with an amplifier, and it also has dual 10-inch passive drivers as well. So let's go ahead and get these cables connected to the AVR. First, we'll connect our front right speaker, just matching up the red banana plug to the red speaker terminal, and same thing with the black. Next, we'll connect our front left. Then we'll connect our center channel speaker. We'll connect our Apple TV 4K. I'm gonna plug it into HDMI number two. So that's our media player. Doesn't really matter which one you connect it to. You'll just have to select that on your remote. We're gonna connect the HDMI cable that goes to the TV. And we're gonna use this one right here that says ARC and eARC. And then the last connection we'll make is our power connection right here. Now, of course, if you have ethernet cable, you can connect that right here. In my setup, I don't have an ethernet drop in my living room, so I'll be using wireless connection. If you have external amplifiers, we've got trigger outs right here. There's three of those, which is really nice. And we've got all pre outs for each one of your channels right here, in case you're using external amplification other than what's built into the Denon 4800. So let's go ahead and get this slid back into the cabinet and we'll get it all set up in the AVR. So here we are inside the 4800 setup menu. As you can see, we've got a new menu that is way more graphically appealing than the original menu. So we'll set our language to English. Click next. Of course, we have our speakers connected and everything. So we'll go to next. Definitely a much nicer graphic user interface here. So we'll go to next. So we've already got our speakers in place. Do I have more than nine speakers not counting subwoofers? In this case, we do not. It's gonna tell us where to connect those on our speakers and how to connect the cables. Pretty basic stuff here. So we've got our front left and right connected. We do have a center channel. Shows you where to connect that on the back of the AVR. In this setup, we do not have surrounds. We do not have any height channels or Atmo speakers, so we'll select none there. And we do not have a subwoofer. So this is a 3.0 system only. We'll keep going through this. We're gonna verify the speakers are connected. I do hear the sound out of the left speaker. We hear sound out of our center speaker. And we've got sound out of our right speaker. So now we're going to connect and get ready to run Odyssey. And we'll connect our calibration microphone. Now I have a dedicated video on how to set up Odyssey. So if you need more additional information, you can check out that video in the link below. We'll go ahead and click next. And we'll start taking our measurements. All right, so now we'll move it over to position two, which is right here. And we'll move it to our third and final position, which is going to be right here.
So just for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and complete the Odyssey calibration. And here I'm gonna go ahead and turn off dynamic EQ. Feel free to play with that. Sometimes that's a preference, whether you like it or you don't, but in this case, I'll just choose no. So we'll go ahead and disconnect the microphone from the AVR and it'll finish calculating. We'll hit next. And so here it just gives you a recap. We do have Odyssey turned on, dynamic EQ is off and dynamic volume is turned off. We already have the antennas connected on the back. And our network setup, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my network wirelessly. Now, because I have an Apple device, I'm able to go into my Wi-Fi settings on my phone and it syncs up those settings so I don't have to re-type in all of my user credentials. And now we're connected to my home network. And we can hear the sound, so we'll go ahead and click I can hear it. And for the network, we'll just choose living room. Now here you'll choose whether or not you want automatic updates or not. I'm gonna go ahead and choose yes because I'm gonna to update to the latest firmware. We're set up on Eastern time. And now it's gonna walk us through connecting the audio with the TV. So here you're gonna select whether or not you want to use what they call CEC. That's where you can use your TV's remote to turn on and off the Denon receiver. So we're gonna choose yes, click next. In our setup, we chose media player. So we'll select that one and that is connected via HDMI. It shows us where to connect that. We've already done so. I'm not gonna set up HEOS, but if you want to, you can download the app and set that up. Really don't have any desire to use the Denon app myself. We'll go ahead and click next there. Same thing with Odyssey Multi EQ Editor app if you wanna purchase that from the app store. Another QR code for the owner's manual and we're finished. Now I'll be providing a full review of both the Denon X4800H as well as the definitive technology speakers. So be sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll have links to this entire system down in the description below. And as always, be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.